that made me look at you too often. Time. Uh, maybe. Okay, let me pause that real quick, guys. It's your girl Black. Let me close this. Okay. It's your girl Blake, and I'm back with another video. And this is another homemade video. So I guess this might be a little series because I did the homemade. What did I do? Spaghetti sauce yesterday. Now we're doing homemade vegan biscuits, okay? And for this recipe, you will need some all-purpose flour, unbleached is what I use, bacon powder, salt. I use vegan butter and oat milk. So first, we're gonna wash our hands and I have Renato here helping me. <laughs> he has low energy right now, but we'll see. He said, hello everybody. Look. So we're gonna make these. Thank you, what a gentleman. He pumped my soap for me. So we're about to make some biscuits and gravy. I'm probably not gonna eat tonight because I'm so full from eating that one side. I ate a, a half of a rich boy and I didn't even eat the whole thing. And I'm so, so, so full. But I'll have a biscuit tomorrow, so I'll probably record myself eating the biscuit tomorrow to try it. Maybe you're not used to like eating that much because you've been fasting. I haven't been fasting for sure. I haven't been fasting. But the only thing I, I, I ate earlier was vegetables covered in marinara sauce. And then I had that that half the sandwich, so I'm like so bloated right now. So yeah, we're about to put this together. I told you guys the ingredients. I'm probably gonna put oh, I'm sorry. You still okay. need it? I so <clears throat> I'm gonna need a cookie sheet as well and a parchment with parchment paper on it because that's what we're gonna bake the buns, the, the biscuits on. And I got this recipe online, it's called Vegan Quick Biscuits <clears throat> and it has a five star rating. So right now, so go ahead and watch. I'm probably gonna put some music behind this and We'll see how it tastes. Well, if any of the kids try it tonight, I'll get their reaction, but you'll get my reaction tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I'm too full to eat a thing. All right, so stay tuned. Run away 
before it all melts. So that's why it looks like this. But you know, let be busted. So let's put this in the microwave. 30 seconds. Yeah. And we have the, oh, let me pause that this loud. I'm shouting over this man. Hold on, I got it. So we have the oven preheated to 425. We're gonna brush, get the brush. We're gonna brush the biscuits and then we're going to um, bake them for 12 to 15 minutes. And we'll see what happens after that. Okay, we have our melted butter. Tend to just hold that at the bottom of this pot. I mean, cookers are built so, different, I guess. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Cause they're used to getting burns and stuff. <laughs> Not too much on me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, Painting then, the biscuits then the with gonna, butter. Then the inside's gonna be buttery. Ooh. Yeah, cause all that butter's in there. Yeah, we put like a whole stick in there. <laughs> yep, we should, like, no, a whole stick is right. Yeah, like roughly, like we like squeeze it up and put it in there into like pieces and we put it in, put it in these pieces because it's that's a what very it, quick and easy recipe, like it yeah. says. Yeah, quick bit. I just have to get used to, you know, better handling the dough. Like, I'm not a baker like that. Mm -hmm. She's like, she's used to like cooking, not like really much baking. That, not that much. She's used to like cooking at least. Like, she knows how to like make, like, hmm, what's something hard? She knows how to make like a $1 million dish. Not let's a $1 million that. dish. That was let's cute. Let's say that. Let's say that. She, she knows how to make that. And that will be really easy for her. Since. So we use about two tablespoons of melted butter for this six biscuit recipe. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just going over anything that looks dry because we're running out of butter, but I'll show you how they look before they go in. The reason why I think you will be, you'll be really, it will be really quick and easy for you to be, for you to make a million dollar dishes because it's because at a restaurant they be sure in a, like a lot of lots of dollars all right dishes, now we're about to put it it's gonna be like it's gonna be like um it's called like small you know mm -hmm. so like that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. y'all don't know what i'm yapping about <laughs> just yapping <laughs> 12 to 15 minutes so let's put it in the oven Thank you. You're welcome. And they're in the oven, guys. I'm about to put this on the timer on 12 minutes, and we'll check it. So you now guys. Now we need to make the gravy in the other thing. Yes, the, the gravy. Can I put this in the? Boy, sink? you didn't you just eat? You said fried oyster mushrooms. I did say that earlier, but I'm. Didn't y'all just eat? Are y'all gonna eat fried oyster mushrooms tonight too? Actually, we can make the 
Smile. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Let's just, just make the biscuits. Just a quick little dinner. Just a quick little dinner, yeah. Yeah, if you want something, then eat some gravy and biscuits. <laughs> yeah, just eat some more. <laughs> Y'all just ate. Like, it's insane. What is this paper on the floor by my desk? Let's try. Hold on. I'm going to take that up. All right, guys. So, I'm about to make the gravy. And... And we don't make we don't make packets of gravy over here. We make gravy from scratch. Exactly. Okay. It's gonna be homemade. So everything homemade. I'm not even putting onions in it, child. I'm not even. All right. Really? I mean, whatever. Gravy. It's yeah, gravy. gravy. Yeah, gravy. That's it. You ain't never and had just gravy. That's what it be. No, right? you always make gravy and onions and garlic and stuff. So I don't know what that Come on, is. then Jarrell, you gonna it's be still gonna be good. Exactly. Everything she do, she gonna be good at it. Alright, first you need a cast iron pan, first of yeah, all. Yeah, first you need homemade yeah. gravy. Let me show y'all how to make homemade gravy, first yeah. of all. Okay. I usually will put some um great um some garlic and onions but and saute like, them in the oil, but I need the oil. Thank you. And all I need was a bag of because I don't like using this when we have bags. So I put some um, avocado oil at the bottom of my cast iron pan. Mm -hmm. Let that get hot. I never knew why you needed to use oil or butter. Yeah. Are you asking? Yeah. For gravy? No, like just for like things. You know what? You really don't have to. And we actually need to get out of we actually need to get out of the um, habit of using oil and butter and use you know water and stuff like that because our systems are not. I'm not gonna say they're not equipped, but to always have oil in your. Well, that's why you gotta make sure you're eating the right oil: avocado oil, coconut oil. You know what I'm saying? What, if you're gonna eat with, oil, what's wrong with grapeseed oil? Like seed olive. oils. The seed oils. They say in the seed oil. Something wrong with the seed oils, child. So get you some avocado oil. And olive oil. And olive oil. So it looks like um, it's getting a little warm. I have it kind of on a, uh, a high medium. Well, no. It's almost a high. And I have an electric stove. So I think that's very important to tell people because electric stoves and, and, gar and um, gas stoves are completely different. Do we need to turn this light off? Will it make my lighting better? But it will make the lighting darker though. Oh, that's kind of good. But it's kind of better. Yeah, it's kind of Not gonna lie, yeah, this is good. This yeah, is better. That's, that's better. Okay, guys. So I'm just, I don't, I don't do no measurements, child. I'm just gonna put this in here, and it's gonna get hotter and hotter, and then we're gonna. I never knew you put flour in, in the gravy. Yes, baby. That's what the whole essence of gravy is. Flour. It's just it's just seasoned liquid flour. Pretty much. Um so I'm waiting for it to because I want it to brown, you know. And I you know, my grandma Jenny used to make some good little gravy or whatever, but I noticed that she would let it char a little bit in the pan. And it has that taste, you know what I'm saying? And the cast iron pan. So I'm gonna do that because it, it the smell, the aroma reminds me of Grandma Jenny. But anyways, um, so I use onion powder, garlic powder, um, black pepper, um, complete seasoning, which is right here. Yeah. Um, this is the complete seasoning. I use um, smoked paprika, regular paprika. Um, what else do I use? Amino acids. And I think that's it. I think that's all I use. I'm drawing a blank, but. Yeah, we're about to move it around. I just like it to sit sometimes. So if you get that. So this, can you, you want to record for me? All right, y'all, so. So we want to get all the, um, get all, just keep it in the pan. Yeah. <laughs> I, I 
I sound like Auntie Fee, child. I used to love Auntie Fee. But anyways, she used to say, "Put keep, keep it in the pan. Do they see it? Can they see everything? <laughs> Darius, whatever his name was, that was so funny. But um, you want all the dry flour to be moist. So get that oil all up in there. That smells good. Yeah, and I'm gonna turn it up a little bit so it can start to toast. And then as it toasts, you know what? I'm about to start putting these um, seasonings in this pan. But you see, that's how it should be. Okay, do it just like that. If you want, you know, before this, if you want to put um, onions and, and garlic and stuff in your, you should saute it before you add the um, flour and then, and then do all these steps afterwards. So here I'm adding some garlic powder. It's starting to toast, so let me turn my heat down. Here go the garlic powder. And you have to remember, you're gonna put some water in here so you can put a generous amount. Okay, here's some onion powder. Okay. And then black pepper is so important in my gravy, child. I love black pepper in my gravy. Okay, and here's some complete seasoning. Look at that. Yes, honey. And then you put the regular paprika. If you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. I know that's right, period. Here goes some smoked paprika. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. And then you put, here's some pink Himalayan. Yeah, that smells good. Yeah. It's the seasoning shell. We got some Himalayan. Yep, we got some Himalayan. All right, so, so then I'm going to mix that together. Mix that up. Because that toasted really good while I was seasoning it, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to make sure it looks pretty much the same all around all right and then we gonna add we gonna add what we gonna add um i put that in last but let me get the oh let me, just put, let me put this by your side real quick okay yeah so i'm about to add some water huh Alright, we need some more water for this here. Oh my goodness. So, Darrell just boiled this water. Daddy's calling. So, so I added the water that I'm going to add. And I'm just stirring it up really good. Yep. It's going to start bubbling. I turn, I turn my heat up mm -hmm. again. And turn now I'm about to go in. Got all I, put, I don't know about y'all, but I put a little oat milk in mine. So, y'all going to see me put a little Oh, it's bubbling. Y'all look at it. Y'all gonna see me put a little, little yeah. oat milk. Yeah, I'll make it creamy. Uh-huh. And then I put a little uh, coconut amino acid. Yeah. Uh -huh. Make sure you put that in there. That'll make it taste good. Make it taste even better. You just give a little extra, you know. I need to get it. some more. Do I have more amino acids or I need to buy some more? Okay. So that was all. Look at that creaminess. See how it's coming together, guys? That's how you make some homemade gravy, baby. Okay. On the camera, it looks hot. lighter than it actually is. It does? It yeah. looks lighter? Yeah. Oh. Look at the stove top. It looks purple. Purplish. Lighter. It's a little thick. You see? Do they see yeah. how thick it is? Yeah, they see how thick that is. All right, let me just lower it because it's, yeah. all, cause it's, it's already bubble. bubbling. It's already so bubbling with the it's big It's pretty bubble. much done. But now I'm about to give it a little taste test and see if you need to add anything. I usually know pretty much how much to put in, but let me taste it real quick. I think it's about good and stirred. What you think? I'm. Uh, we'll see. You'll see. I ain't tasting that. You gotta taste it. All right. Let me see. You can you can come up to me. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> she eating it like soup and porridge, y'all. <laughs> she do her little dance, y'all. Look at I her. I don't know. They need something. I think, but I, it's good. Yeah. Everything is good, but it just needs something. He said everything is good, but it just needs something. You don't even make no sense. Oh, look, um, at look at the time of it. Well, 
You want to come taste this real quick? Tell me if I need something else. I'll get your ass taste. First. I didn't have that much amino acids, so I wonder. But I used to. I didn't used to put amino acids in my own. Thanks, because you didn't have it. Or did you just didn't want it? We got rose. Blow it. Yeah, I see what Jerrell can think about it. What do you need? What do you need, bro? That's good. Isn't it good? Yeah. That's why it takes a while to be like, oh, <laughs> it's good. Um, you all in his mouth. I'm not all up in his mouth. I'm gonna just add a little more complete seasoning. When in doubt, just add a little more complete seasoning, y'all. And yeah. then I turn the I turn the fire off. So if you wondering guys what complete seasoning is, it is with a mixture of different seasonings, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah. And mix that to one. All right, so the oven just went off. So that's the 12 minutes are up. We can check on the biscuits and see if they're ready. If not, then we will keep them in for another three minutes. Let's see. Okay, let's do another three minutes. Yeah, we're going to do another three minutes for that joint. Um, three minutes. Okay. So let me, I'll get back to you guys when the biscuits are done. It's on? Yes, one. Alright, guys, we took them out the oven. They browned at the top. I browned it a little bit with the boiler because it was a little too white for me. But um, this is them. I'm just putting some butter on them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to taste this tonight because I'm going to feel weird. That Amber Alert this morning, that boy took them two, three kids in. Yeah, I didn't get an Amber Alert, but I saw it on social media. Oh, you seen what happened, right? Mm -hmm. That's terrible, ain't it? Virginia Beach. That's wild. That baby didn't die. Yeah. But why would you chase? Like, I can see. Why the police even chase? Yeah, why would you chase? And they got kids in there. So I was just So they told me my last client is a police, right? So he said the same thing. He's like, people on social media are like, why are we chasing them? What do you, it's an abduction. What do you want to do? Just let them take them? You don't want to cause an accident with the children in the car. You're supposed I mean, to be safety first, you weirdo. Right. Well, he a police, so he's seeing it that he way. He only see it that way, yeah. yeah. So this is how they look. I'll show you guys how they taste it. Just a second. Click it. Okay, guys. One day I'm going to get a tripod that sits, stands on the thing. All right, guys, me and Renata are gonna try. I mean, let's try the smallest one. Which one's the smallest one? Mm, one. Which one? That, that one. It's no, just, that one's daddy's. Oh, that one's daddy's. That's just the one that you wanna try. Okay, let's just try this. I'll just make it exactly. So this is how it looks. Look at how it breaks. Oh my goodness. Oh. This would definitely be good with gravy. Mm hmm. It's definitely gonna be good with gravy. Mm -hmm. Um, what would I change? I would probably make more, but I would probably. I don't even know what I would say. You just have to keep doing it over and over. Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's not bad. Parmesan for him last night when I made those um when I made that homemade uh, spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to make him some put some gravy on here. Mm 
Renata. Is there butter on the counter? No, nah, I don't. You want to put some more butter in these, these lima beans for me real quick? Yeah. Another two tablespoons is good. <laughs> Right here, the big part or the small one? The small one. So I have some lima beans. That's avocado butter. Mm, low key. So I'm gonna finish that piece we just ate. So it won't be like, and then you'll have, you can have your own. Okay. So guys, I think I'm gonna end the video right now. The biscuit. Is that? I just want to make them thicker next time. They're kind of like thin. So I would probably like double the recipe next time and use four cups of flour. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what other homemade, homemade um, recipes, <laughs> what other homemade recipes you want to see. Comment down below and we'll see you in, in another video. Period. Yeah. All right, guys. So here's Renata who helped with the biscuits in the dinner period. And here's Ava trying the biscuits and gravy. Well, she's already tried it, it looks like. So, what do the, you guys think? The gravy with the llama beans is really good. You like that? Mm -hmm. okay. the, the best thing of it all, I don't know, it's really hard. It's a really hard choice because both of them are really, really good. You like that? Yeah. Good. Hmm. I love it. To me, I think it's this. The biscuits? Mm -hmm. Very good. How about you, Ava? Really, really good. I like the biscuit. You like the biscuit? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe we'll be making more biscuits. Practice. Y'all. She eats like this all the time, guys. I split it up in fours, you know? No, it's not in slow motion. <laughs> you know, guys, so, so guys, I split it up in fours, you know? Mm -hmm. I put boom, boom. So I have this, this, and this. Right. And this. So you have four pieces instead of one, right? <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're welcome.